Hey there guys, Harioldo and this is here Vibro again once again on Tech Week. And so today the Phoenix version ROC Instinct 3 has been out. So it's been quite long that Voltrex took his time and just released the ROC uh, Instinct 3 that we have been waiting for so long and this has been out tonight today and so i have been using this up the whole evening trying out different stuff and just things like that and just now it's the review video of it so buckle up your seats and let's take a look at what are things that we get here so as you can see the visual change is that there we have a new wallpaper here which looks pretty cool and let's take a look at what are the things that have changed over in the rom itself so let's go ahead to the settings and take a look at about tablet and you can see it says that roc instinct 3 cod special edition and also a kernel version is 4.13.5 and mesa is still i guess it's mesa 18.3 and you can see my uh, graphics driver as well the uhd graphics 620 so it's working out pretty fine and so that's pretty much it what we get inside the about tablet so let's close this thing up and get ahead to chrome and let's take a look at what all things are have been changing don't worry the link will be there in the description so you can go ahead and download and just try it out for your system basically this is made for call of duty uh, it's a special edition for Call of Duty, so all the Call of Duty fans, uh, awesome news for you guys because this is here at last. Call of Duty fans will be like going crazy right now because it's just working great and even I have been facing so much crashing problems before. So it's a good news for you guys. Uh, but for me, uh, there are some caveats which I'll be getting into in just a moment. So you can see uh, this version is modded with the version okay includes vip so ad services are back and um with structure 2019 2020 go season is ending project phoenix fly project okay that's something new change log is gfs has been updated glibs mesa driver okay added pubg and call of duty support hdr extreme nice fixed call of duty black screen hmm okay let's we'll take a look at it and expose installer but deactivate it okay we can activate it later and super su native root removed from the system okay um that's fine so the tablet mode uh is only out not the desktop mode so this is a tablet mode that's you can that's why you can see this app drawer here so this is the tablet version and just working out pretty fine talking about other bugs uh no everything is just working mic um wi-fi bluetooth and tethering and everything is just working out the bugs if you are facing some problems with like mic or stuff you can go ahead in my description there will be video links um for you to fix all those issues uh, i have made that dedicated videos so you can go ahead and download here and also you will be needing a pass code for it's a decryption code so you can go ahead and try it out by yourself and i'm really sorry for my background the dog is going crazy and i think i'll have to eat him up <clears throat> Control Venom, I know you're angry. Okay, keeping Venom aside, let's take a look at the main um, motive of us using this version is the performance of PUBG and COD. So let's take a look about um, Call of Duty here and let's try to open it up. And let's see how the performance of Call of Duty is. And for my device, this thing appears, a black screen. Wow, it's so awesome. Voltrex did say that black screen has been fixed, but I don't know what's wrong with my device. It's just not working out for my device. Voltrix, you have to do something for me. Please help me out, buddy. If you're watching this video, please help me out. Please just do something. I want to play this game so much, but just black screen is appearing and just fucking my head. Ah, okay. Giving everything aside. Just closing this thing up. It's not working out for me, man. You just need to help me out. And also, let's take a look at PUBG Mobile. And PUBG Mobile, it's running fine. I've been playing this since my evening and just it was working great. Uh, no frame drops. I was getting around like 60 frames per second. You know, my system is quite powerful enough and I'm boasting. Yeah, I am really bad at boasting. So uh, uh, jokes apart, let's take a look at the gameplay. And yeah, 
like I said, it will run quite, it runs quite well. And because of the screen recording app, um, I will be getting a bit of less, um, a bit of less frames. Uh, but you can see the character is moving really smoothly. I'm not able to show you my let me go to settings and graphics settings and um, You're gonna get smooth high frame rates uh, by using uh, out of the box You get smooth and high but by using GFX tool obviously you can go smooth and extreme and if you are facing some performance related issue in PUBG mobile Link in the description. There is a video dedicated for you to unlock 60 FPS on any version of Phoenix what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and click it up. So that's pretty much it. This is how it runs. And talking about me, if you ask me, should I, will I use this? No, it's not for me. Come on. I was good with Dark Matter and also that new version, the VIP console. So I'll be staying with VIP console. And that was it, guys. So that's pretty much it. This is the review of Phoenix ROC Instinct 3. If you still want to try it out over into your system, link will be there. Go ahead, try it out. If you have any problems, you can go ahead to his uh, to the forum below and try to contact the developer. He will do, he will contact you guys. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you really like it. Uh, do subscribe to hit the like button. The dislike button works as well, but I won't suggest you to do that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. God bless you all. And Keep smiling and keep helping others. Thank you.